one don't forget to comment like subscribe and well today i'm here with this uh little wooden chair we're gonna be painting this we're gonna be customizing it and I actually found two. I found this in the thrift store and I loved them. I thought these would be an awesome project. So I brought them home and I'm going to be painting one today. We'll paint the other one another day. But yeah, I think this will be perfect for a little decoration or for my doll room. And um, I have a variety of paints, like acrylic paints, different brands. I also have some uh, acrylic markers. I have parkour. I have pasta. And I have, you know, paintbrush and some clear glass. This one is the Rosolian ultra cover glass clear and uh, this will help seal everything once I'm done with my project. So I'm going to start by using this gesso to cover all the chair. Uh, sometimes while using certain materials the acrylics won't go on as nicely and you have to give like so many layers and to avoid that I like using gesso to cover everything so this is what I'm doing now. I'm going to just cover the whole thing in white and that'll make it easier for me to go in with the paint. up in the gesso I'm gonna go in with my heat gun and this is just to speed up the process once it's completely dry I'm gonna go in with an acrylic paint I'm gonna be using in this case a violet color because I decided on a Hocus Pocus theme, so I wanted something in the Hocus Pocus colors, but something that wasn't as dark so that the, the actual design will pop. So I went for a violet, so I'm just going to cover the whole chair up in this color. I will go in again with my heat gun and this is just to speed up the process I'm just drying everything so I can do this quicker but I mean of course you could just let it air dry okay so there we go it is completely covered except for the very bottom as you can see uh, but yeah now I'm gonna go in and do my design with a pencil so just very basic just gonna, gonna do the outline because then I'm gonna go in with the actual colors and pasta pens and such but yeah I'm gonna do my design with a pencil and then like I said this is just like the outline so it's basically just like a little sketch no detail or anything this is basically just so that I can know where I'm gonna start painting without having to do it directly with the paint go so I did a hocus pocus theme so there's all my design and after that I'm just gonna go in with my pasta pens and I'm gonna start just uh, painting everything uh, basically the pasta pens are kind of like markers but except they're acrylic but I do like using pasta pens a lot because you get more precision like it's you know like the little lines the little details rather than with the paintbrush which you could do it also it just makes it easier since it's kind of like a marker it's kind of like coloring it in so this is what I'm doing now I'm gonna do like the bold basic uh, shapes of what I drew and then I'm gonna go in with like a different color pastas I do have some pastas with glitter and then I have some white pastas just to do highlights so this is what you're gonna be seeing I'm just basically going to go in and uh, just start coloring everything with a variety of colors and pasta pens don't really blend very well so you're gonna see that most of my details of my design are gonna be like line basically like little line art but that will make a difference and I like that style so I mean it's okay but uh, yeah if you want something more blended then you would have to use uh, more of a, like the acrylic paint rather than the actual uh, pastas where you can basically do lines
see those pastas uh, that I use right now have glitter in them, so they do have a little bit of sparkle. I'm gonna go in and do the moon on there, and I'm gonna use a gray pasta to start this off, and then I'm gonna go in with some white, but uh, I did use a brush just to like kind of blend the colors and then I of course made my lines like I said uh, pastas work better that way but yeah I use gray and white to make the moon look lighter uh, now I'm gonna be doing the outline and I'm gonna outline everything with this uh, black uh, fine liner pasta pen so this will make everything pop out Once that's done, I'm going to use a white uh, pasta pen just to make uh, give it a little bit of highlights. Okay, so now I'm going to get this blue and it's a really deep blue. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this. I'm going to get a one of these sponge. It's like a brush, but it's like one of those sponges with a little stick on it. And I'm just going to kind of like press it on a paper and then I'm just gonna kind of like stamp it on to make it look give it like little uh, dots and you know just kind of like smudge it on but I didn't want to have it so dark so I didn't instead of using a brush I decided to use a sponge so basically it's kind of like dry painting but with a sponge and that'll give it an effect like uh, kind of like a like a cloudy effect except in blue and I'm going to do this in blue and I'm also going to do it with white. You're doing the same process, a little bit of white and then kind of like uh, cleaning the brush so that it can be kind of like a uh, dry brushing. I'm going to do it all over the, the chair. And I chose this effect because I feel like it makes it look kind of like nighttime. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of like a galaxy nighty stars effect. That's why I chose the blue and the white. But uh, yeah, that's what I was going for. Now I'm going to get my pasta once again, and I'm going to do a tree. So basically, it's going to be like one long zigzag line, and then just like little zigzags uh, getting, getting going out from it, kind of like towards the little branches. So yeah, just very simple, but that'll make it seem like there's a dry tree uh, on the side. I'm going to do that on top, and I'm going to do it all the way coming from the bottom. So that just gives it a little extra detail to the chair. Okay, so now I'm going to be adding a Hocus Pocus phrase. I'm going to go with a pencil and later with a pasta pen. And yes, my writing is terrible, so I did what I could. But uh, yeah, just, uh, just a little phrase in the middle. Um, and I think that will bring everything together. There you go, and now that I have the phrase on there, I'm going to get a white pasta and I'm just going to do little white dots all over the chair just to make it look like it has more stars. off I'm gonna go in with this sparkle varnish and it's just gonna go on clear it just does have a lot of sparkle so that's why I wanted to add it on there I just wanted to make it uh, sparkly but I did put it or try putting it on the area where it says I put a spell on you but as you can see it looks kind of darkened because it actually doesn't work on uh, pasta pens so I avoided the seat area uh, it isn't like it won't mess up regular acrylics but for some reason this does not work with pastas so I just avoided all the pasta areas together now I'm just gonna seal everything with this uh, Rust-Oleum gloss clear and we're done okay so once the spray sealant is done this is how it turned out uh, I like I said that was a glossy sealant so it does uh, have a nice shine to it and the Sparkle varnish looks so pretty. I don't know if you can tell but it does have that shine It has like little pieces of like sparkles or glitter. So it looks very pretty um, I wish I could have put it on the actual design, but like I said, I, I couldn't do that because that does that type of uh, 
gloss doesn't work on there. Um, I believe I might use this for my Barbie dolls. I do have a dollhouse, but it can so I can be used for this. It's like the perfect size for a Barbie doll, but I could also use it for, you know, just for decoration, you know, being that Halloween is coming, I think it'll be like a nice, nice little touch to a desk or, I don't know, I just think it came out really, really cute, but you all let me know what you think, if you would have done anything different, thank you all for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Let me know if you, um, if you would have put this phrase or a different color. What do you think? What would you have done differently? Thank you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.